You know, when you think you're out of socks, and then you find just that one last pair, you know it's gonna be a good day. Today being a very, very windy day, I decided to uh, upgrade my uh, microphone wind muff. Um, I was using Rykote before, now I'm using uh, micromuff.com. I don't know if they ship to the US. If you email them, if you are in the UK, you can get it on uh, Amazon. But uh, yeah, these are the same ones fun for you. Louis uses, same in for free. Hopefully there's an improvement with the sound. Let's test it out. It's about uh, 20 miles an hour. I don't know if it's better or worse. So anyways, today, dun dun dun, we're gonna fix that oil leak for the second time. All right, so we're back at it again. I showed you in the previous video where that nut was. Well, we got this other nut that we're gonna try and uh, fix. His name is Badge. <laughs> he uh, rigged together this very long extension here, as you can see. So we are just fishing this thing on in there, blocking his view. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna pull that thing out, put a washer on it. it. Sounds a lot easier than it will be. I bet you lunch for that one. It's fucking loose. It's loose? It's fucking loose. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, from what you're working with there is anywhere from 5 to 300 PSI, 3,000 PSI. So this O-ring's got to be perfect. So that's why you got to use the Ford one or a really high pressure O-ring boss. Because this is just an O-ring boss plug, right? Is all it is. And that O-ring's not even 3 days Wow. Old. Wow, we it, it well it started. And that leaking. was a brand new O ring. That wasn't a yeah. used one. That was brand new. That but this is just an ordinary O ring, so you can just see what it does to it. Completely blown out. See that's O ring boss. So you just have to put we got the factory one, so and what they do is they lock tight it in. I'm not saying it's perfect, but it works. And uh this usually after you do it, it's probably alright. We try it well we're in the backwoods of Idaho when we fix it, so we never had the right parts, but um we got it, so that we're now in the back backwoods of Oregon, <laughs> so it's all good. But no, this plug usually, and it was finger tight, so that bothers me too. So we'll put it in with Loctite, and that'll keep it from coming out. Sweet. I think. <laughs> we hope. We hope. By the way, we are doing this, we are attempting to do this without removing all this uh, crap like we did last time, but yeah. uh, it's going to be tough to get it back in that hole. The badge is reaching in there with his uh, light, golf club. I'm going to assist with the light. And at the end of it, he's got a, uh, go. a magnet. There we go. This is what it looks like. So he's trying to stick it in that hole. I'm going to turn the camera off and give him a hand. Good news, guys. Look at that. You might not be able to see that in there because I think the focusing is off. Let me try and fix that with the light, too. It's hard. It's way in there, but... Uh, just take my word for it, we are connected. The threads are going in. Today looks like a much, much easier day. This is gonna turn out to be like a half hour fix instead of uh, a four hour fix. All right, if you guys don't know what that is, that is a that torque wrench. Tight now. <laughs> that baby's tight. Yeah, what you, how many foot pounds are on there? Uh, about, I give it 30 because this, combination eh yeah so you give it about 30 to With make the... up for all the Cause that's a long way right yeah it so. is it's also this uh, engine is known as a paint rattler and uh, it, it is known to rattle the bolts out of the holes that badge is going to uh, explain what kind yeah. of thing he rigged up here to get this, this. is all the extensions because we got to go back into there like uh, well, about this far really so what you do is you tape all these together so that they don't come apart, right? Now this is an ordinary universal joint and you tape it up so that it doesn't swivel a little bit, right? Now you can use this, but don't use it on impact. But you can use this and it takes all the swivel out because you know, if you let it go, it'll just drop. Well, you put it in there and then you gotta go back in there because all you got is working with this little piece and you gotta get that piece to turn. But it's all good. See, if you put the plug in by hand, you won't strip it. If you put it in with a ratchet or a gun or anything, chances are 
you'll strip the plug on the back of the thing and then you don't even want to go there. But anyway, you put it in by hand, you get it tight, and then you torque it. That's the trick. All right, so we're just gonna let the uh, uh, Loctite, which is like a thread sealant, do its whole thing. I'll, uh, in a little bit, we'll do a little kind of tour of this you know, area. It's probably too windy to fly the drone, but I'm gonna make a separate video with Badge right now. We're gonna get a full tour of his rig. Everybody wants a tour, they're getting a tour. <laughs> full tour of the rig. Won't see and the setup. you're getting a tour. <laughs> full rig setup, solar system, all that stuff. So if you're into that kind of stuff, uh, yeah, go watch that video. All right, we'll fast forward to the evening time. Took Badge out for dinner. Nice little thank you for uh, all the work that he's uh, done for me very graciously since we bumped into each other <laughs> at, randomly at a, where was that? What was that? Laundromat. That's the word I was searching for. Laundromat in Ehrenberg, Arizona, right by the Colorado River and the California border. Um, it's amazing the people, really cool people that I've met on this trip and uh, it's gonna be, <laughs> not gonna lie, it's gonna be a little weird to sell my bus. I've had this thing now for, for two years and I just can't help, you know, thinking back about everywhere we've been together in this thing. Um, <laughs> since I first bought it sight unseen, took a flight on, uh, I think it was Valentine's Day red eye to Philadelphia and then stayed in a, a place by myself and uh, a hotel and then the next day my best friend flew in and helped me drive across the country and then I got him back in time for work like a half an hour before work started <laughs> it was like six or seven days picked up Larry the hitchhiker <coughs> Man, what a interesting journey that was. And then everything in between with the build and, you know, um, trying to do it on a budget in Austin and just butting heads with an unpleasant human being. And then uh, finishing up in uh, uh, Salt Lake City with Nick, very pleasant <laughs> human being. So I've had like the complete opposites. Um, but yeah, and then all the places I've tried to go and, you know, um, the whole mission which I tried to to complete, which I didn't quite do. I wanted to hit all the states in a year, but let me tell you, that's a lot of work. You know, originally I, I wanted to hit all the states and um, I didn't do that. And that kind of bums me out a little bit. But on the bright side, I got to meet so many incredible human beings along the trip and uh, along the journey that it's made up for it. That was, um, that was definitely a highlight of this trip, is meeting people. Um, yeah, will be exciting for project number two. Uh, pretty sure it's gonna be a school bus, although I really would like to take a motorcycle down to Argentina, uh, perhaps after I do bus number two get the numbers up a little bit and uh, that would be a very very fun adventure if anybody's in, uh, up for something like that let me know um, because that could possibly be something after bus number two at some point um, something different um, but yeah uh, it's just been a, a really great experience and uh, Part of the reason I didn't get through all the states is I want, you know, there's a balance that I was trying to strike with meeting, you know, new people and making friends uh, who also make YouTube videos and can travel with me or people I get along with and those friendships I feel like are, you know, just the beginning of more adventures to come. I ended up speaking at events <laughs> uh, as you know kind of an expert on travel and adventure to people who are hungry for travel and adventure um, 
so that was a lot of fun. Uh, before I started this, I, I thought to myself, I don't, I don't just want to adventure around and be in a bus, be known as the bus guy. I want to be the guy who speaks at events and waits until the last person, you know, gets to come up and say hi or ask a question or something like that. And I feel like that would be a great person to become. So I'm definitely looking forward to the next project. It's going to be a little bit weird not driving around, not traveling every day, but I have my resources for bus number two. I have friends who've committed themselves to help out. Badge actually over there in the trailer with the uh, vegetable oil conversion, which um, I have briefly mentioned before, but that is definitely a direction I want to go. I have another friend that I met at a tiny house festival who's a builder. He is a phenomenal, phenomenal builder builder you'll you'll meet him later so I have these you know people lined up and uh, you know willing to help out like I said in yesterday's video or maybe it was today I just officially turned down like a TV show um, for various reasons that I'm not gonna get into but um, you know that could have been a lot of fun but uh, I'm gonna stick with this idea see where that leads me and only the future will tell what is in store for me but I do have my um, radar out for bus number two I have been on the internet and making a few phone calls here and there and emails and I appreciate everybody who's uh, commented uh, resources I, I'm very behind on videos and comments so I will catch up and I'll probably do a, a video every other day and I'll do other like Q&A type videos so if you guys have any questions you want me to answer now is a great time I'll highlight the question from the person just like driving and vibing and then I'll address that question and um, yeah because uh, there's a lot to a lot of information to share that I want to put in a very short concise SEO friendly way like what to expect before purchasing a school bus and converting it. That is a great single video topic. Uh, there's a lot of people who, who are looking for that. Not necessarily you, or you, or you, but some people will be searching for that for information. It's nice to have that out there. So, um, you know, I'm sure a lot of people are curious, what's it like? <laughs> so, anyways, that's it for today. I know it was a long rant and a very short fix which I actually prefer. The other time we had a short rant and a very long fix. So I'm glad that we fixed it in about 20 minutes, which was amazing. Thanks to Badge and his uh, geniusness. I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.